Hey guys, Jen here from Mean and Such and Such. And I'm going to be cutting my um not cucumber melon, my um yeah. Good gravy. Coconut lime verbena soap. They're all still in the paper. I just unmolded them. And then I will cut. Ooh, that one's nice. Some air pockets. Not bad. And then the last one. Do separate cutting videos. I'm just gonna go ahead and get them all unmolded or out of the paper. You guys, get a close up of my cutter. <laughs> all right, let me get my cutter. Tighten her up. Get a paper towel. And I'm actually going to wipe this off with a rag. So these soaps all did gel. I'm hoping I don't get a lot of glycerin rivers. They all got pretty hot. So we'll see. Uh, but here is my coconut and lime verbena soap. It smells really good. All right. Get it in slice there. the swirls. I can't even tell if I've got you guys seeing this okay. I didn't even check. Sorry. Let's zoom you into it a little bit. Wrong way. Alright, let me adjust my camera. Here we go. So sorry about that. Wasn't even paying attention. Oh, nice wispy swirls. Very pretty. And I have a cat that's attacking my foot. Isn't that pretty? And my top. Alright, Pixie, get off my feet. There's that. Very nice. She's wrapped around my foot, like, she totally whole body wrapped around my foot. And is trying to bite me, which she doesn't bite, bite. And she has the kitty caps on, so she can't scratch me. They're only on her front paw, so, um, because I'm afraid she might try to scratch the kids. I really like this soap. It smells really good.
I'm all about the wispy swirls. Oh, that one's pretty. And I just love the little toppers. I hadn't used any in a while and, I've, and I made that humongous, I made a humongous batch. And um, so I've got some berries to use, some grapes. Um, I've got uh, lots of hearts to use, which I used all of my limes for this one. This soap's going to be really pretty when I get it cleaned up this evening. Austin. There's that one. Nice. I always show you get the back side because I know you can see it right there. That's why I show you the back. So wispy. I'll bring it closer, let you see close up. Nice and wispy. I like the wispy swirls. They are some of my favorites. And there's no glycerin rivers in this, and it got pretty hot. We'll have to see about the others. And this one has quite a bit of titanium dioxide in it. I have, I have decided and I have learned that titanium dioxide has nothing to do with glycerin rivers. It is, um, it all has to do with how hot your soap gets. If you, if it gets overheated, you'll get glycerin rivers. You can let it gel, because my soaps always gel, but um, if it gets too hot, it will get the glycerin rivers. I have learned that. Okay, well, this is my new coconut and lime for bean soap. Thank you all for watching, and we'll be back for the next cutting video.